Good morning, everybody. I want you to just say my prayer and help me thank God for the gift of life. Um, thank you, Amaka, for such a powerful prayer this morning. I pray the Lord will continue to bless you. Let's first thank God for Amaka. Then we'll see what a prayer over my life. Can we just go ahead and thank God for Amaka? Father, we bless you for your daughter. We pray the Lord you strengthen her. You continue to use her powerfully in the name of Jesus. Amaka, you are an amazing woman of God with an amazing auction of God about intercession and prayer. And I pray that you boldly step into it and left nothing. Hmm? Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. Some of you are heart right now. <laughs> it's very funny. Um, you know what you said to me? Even your beauty, I will use it. <laughs> so with that beauty, you must understand that God has a purpose for everything. The way our features are, the way we look. It gives God glory. Hmm? When I enter a place, and when we are done, when I enter a place, people look at me like, look at me, look at my size, and from places, not all places, to be honest. You know, and they now see that my ring, and when I'm done, that, ah, oh my God, it's more almighty. You know, some people get offended, and I know what I'm saying, not just that kind of people get offended, ah, but I'm taking it out to say, mm, God is enjoying. You know, the glory, it's like a father laughing, like, ah, you didn't know. You didn't know, like, yeah, you didn't know your features. Oh, thank you. This is not what I want to talk about, but we're going to start from here. Guys, and I'm speaking to everyone here, male, female, your features, the way you look, the way you, you are. There are certain people that will just look at you and listen to you because of how you are. And that is why. I, we don't support, we want to go and increase the breast, reduce it. You know, I mean, apart, apart from if it's truly medically um, necessary, like someone that has maybe breathing impediments and they need to do an operation. You get my point? Your features. So if you have been complaining that, God, your bum bum is too big, I'm sorry I'm extremely graphical and I know I'm saying that. I mean, we're all mature people. Oh, my bum is too big. Oh, look at it. Is oh, me. I'm so small. Me, I'm just flat. Oh, me, I'm just square. Me, I'm just all these things. You need to begin to thank God. I literally started feeling like God is having fun when, when I'm doing. And literally, you could see people. Some people, when someone sent me a message, when I go, of course, I didn't respond. I just moved them because the spirit behind message question was not right. He said, "I'm sorry again. I would die you again because I don't understand." Like, and how you are, you are doing what you are doing. And I'm like, well, the problem you realize that in the realm of the spirit, you are the one that is using. I just laugh because you, so I see the confusion in people's faces. Sometimes some that don't know how to, I just, they're, they're not sure. This girl, she sounds weird, but he can't be, but he can, he can. You know, the ones that think I'm a teenager, the ones that think I'm in my 20s, like, the one, I'm like, and every, now, Wow, thank you, Holy Spirit. God is teaching me how to you do imposter syndrome. You tell yourself you, you have desire to be on the table. Another way to deal with imposter syndrome is to say, like, you know what? God deserves. God will take glory from this. Did that accent? You know, I was thinking about it some time ago. By the way, I got really obsessed with no, no, not obsessed. I don't get obsessed. I don't I have self control. I was not actually I was, it was funny. I saw these guys. I don't know who they are. I just saw somebody made a comment about them. And I went to check them. This Chinese band guy, biggest band right now in the world. These people are not speaking English. They are Koreans. People love their what you think is a problem. I mean, yeah, we want to die. Even when they want to do interviews, they don't want to get you speak English. Or if someone are picking English gradually, they will say, I, I love Paul. Anybody will laugh. And we're saying, oh my God, awesome. And you now that you can even speak it, but maybe you have one factor. And all this, we have H factor, B factor, C factor, that we laugh at ourselves. Is what some of these other guys, South Africans, Ghanaians, um, these people have that. But people, it sounds great. Have you heard an Aosa person speak English? A very educated Aosa person speak English. It is beautiful to listen to. What's the thing about it? It is this disservice, this black mentality, this inferior mentality that make us to think certain attributes is a disadvantage. 
I remember one time I was in America. I think just I travel, I left just at a point. I went somewhere and everybody kept stopping me. My God, are you, are you from Africa? I said, yeah. Because they even think Africa is a country. And they said, my God, I love your accent. And I'm like, hey, we have accent. We must be proper English than most Americans. Of course, apart from the, the British and the ones who say, my point is, guys, can you take a minute? And as I was starting on intimacy, Thank you, Holy Spirit. See why he gave me the scripture one us to read. Can you take a minute to thank God for who you are? Thank God for how he has made you. Thank God for your features. You have a masculine and fantastic. Thank God for that, your masculine, masculinity. <laughs> a lot of us, we will not be able to. You are hiding. You have sports. Thank God for those sports. If you don't find freedom in being free with your sports, Somebody else would think they need to have layers of makeup or because they are not good enough. But the day you come out boldly, somebody is finding freedom. Thank God for it. I remember somebody said, oh, work be- I was in university. Oh, be- go. Oh, work be- I mean, why are you dry? It's not even why are you sleep. Why are you dry? And you see my picture then and now, you see I was even fatter then. I think I was a bit chubby on my cheeks and stuff. And I just laughed. Now, people cannot shame me. Wow, someone just said me, I'm talking to me. People cannot shame you with my size anymore. I got a bit, I I, I was almost frigid recently because I went to a place and I really, oh, 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 when I went to Venus and I really wanted to, I was, I didn't want to wear sneakers because people were staring at me. And someone had to me, it's glory, as in Maureen is the one that will talk that story someday. I was, I've never been unconscious, unconscious, I've been conscious of myself. People were just look at me. I didn't make, I didn't do anything. What did I? People said to me, this is my beauty and my glory. Take it. So I have liberty. You're seeing, and the one person I love the way she carries herself, Moji. Moji does not care. Thank God for who you are. Thank God for how beautiful you are. Makeup or no makeup, thank God. And you can draw brows well. Ah, some people cannot do, at least me, I know I can't. Thank God. Can we just take a moment? That's the beginning of intimacy. When you can look at yourself and you desire, you, you thank God for who you are. Let me tell you something. You are a desire to God. The Bible says you are God's delight. Do you know what I mean? God looks at you and I'm like, wow. And then once God was like, damn. But I mean, if there's any for every word, guys, like, damn. I stop. I, I'm slim. Uh, uh, I, I'm, my clothes. What was that? I thank God for the way I am. When I say I had a bit of weight, I'm going to gain it back. There was a liar. When I say I had a bit of weight, right? Some places, I say, Yes, Lord, this is it. Thank you, Jesus. I'm looking at myself and like, oh, Wow, thank you. Some of you need to appreciate who you are. Right? I start having this freckle, freckle thing on my face. I, I always tease, I told you that gave it to me. When I'm moving with to do, I was going to, I, um, I, I know when you go do facials, you can actually, but beyond it, I'm like, When I, so when I don't wear makeup, I look at it, I'm like, Ah, look at this. I'm like, Well, thank God for it. Thank God for it. Thank God for this sport. Thank God for it. Thank God for it. And I realized whatever you appreciate, I appreciate. The more you appreciate God for who you are, the more the Lord is going you know, to, you begin to see yourself more beautiful. So God, we thank God for it. Some of you, you look, you look, you are 40, but you look 32 or you look 22. You still want to be shouting. You don't know my age. Well, who does that one help? It's not, it's okay. Thank God. I look at my sister and I'm looking at her. My sister is in her 40s. I she still, she even look, I look older. But thank God for who you are. Thank God for your shape. Thank God for your figure. I don't know who you are. You're very tall here and you don't feel comfortable by being about being tall. But thank God that you are tall. Thank God. Can we just appreciate God this morning? Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name. We give you praise. Amen. We come against this lie of the devil to body shame people, to shame people. And yesterday I saw something online, flat on me. And it was on this call. He will, I'm casting you in the face of the public this morning. You have to get up and go and do what God is asking you to do about this weight loss. That vision God gave to you. People are beginning to take this weight loss to another level. It's an, idolai- an idolatry of the body. And I'm going to be teaching all of that. One of the problems of intimacy with God is when you get obsessed of your school, of who you are. You're obsessed of yourself. And you show even in selfie. You can't stop. Oh my God. You're obsessed. Now, when I say thank God for who you are, love who you are, it's different from obsession with who you are. Way that you don't see God see yourself. So this weight loss situation, I see some people, and I'm like, ah, 
and uh, now everybody you now wear only bra top you show your flat tummy and now we're glorifying body no 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 no. the reason why god wants us to be fit is someone said something jesus had to carry the cross jesus must have been fit that journey i've forgotten the journey somebody explained to me in modern day and it was something that was very beautiful to me. He said, P.I., Jael, for us to have been able to drill down. And one of this morning on intimacy, she's going to teach us about how our body, glorifying God with our body is, is an act of intimacy to God. You see, Jael took the nail. He said, P.I., Jael must have been fit to drill down nail through the years of Caesarea. I wasn't that lady. That Jael, if you, you don't know who Jael is, that scripture about Deborah in the book of Judges, I said a woman will bring this thing. She carried, how many of you can carry nail? carry armor and drill. Do you know what it is to put it down the temple and, and nail the person to the ground? A mighty army person. She must have been fit. So guys, I want to encourage us. While I'm saying love yourself, I'm not saying be obsessed because you, know, you, you didn't make yourself. You didn't make yourself beautiful. You didn't make yourself dear, dear to do something. You didn't make yourself beautiful. I remember I was getting married. So I, I was, ah, God, I lost weight. So for my, for my Ashoki, you know, they bought bomb bomb. So I had to wear that, uh, they call it bomb bomb tights or something, is to, because they couldn't wrap me. The wrapping was going endlessly. So I said, that I know you have to use it for the no problem. They just tied. I wore it tight. It was not like it was bomb at the back, but just by side, you know, I wore it and I now had it. Then one day I wore it, I said, I don't know. I just removed the things and as I went inside like that, I said, what kind of, I, this is where I, where I am now. Do you, do you understand my point? I'm not saying you cannot use your belt if you're working on your body or your tummy or stuff. But I'm like, this is where I am. It will need to be an artificial bomb bomb to, to go out. I was out. This is how God has made me. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And that will take me to the scripture. I'm going to read briefly. I'm so, this is not where, but I see why God. This morning I woke up and the Lord started speaking to me. About intimacy. I even thought that we would start because of when friends pray. And the Lord started speaking to me this morning about something very beautiful. He said to understand intimacy. Well, this week we're gonna we're gonna look at the love between the Trinity. The Trinity model what intimacy should look like. Okay, a lot of us must learn how to come into union with, with the Trinity. Was if you look at them, the Bible says in the beginning, God created Genesis 1, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty. Darkness covered the deep, and the spirit of the Lord was moving over the surface. Then God said, Now, you must understand that Jesus is the word. When God said, Let it be light, you know, you read John, it says that, you read John, it will talk about the word being Jesus and all of that. In the beginning, we see the unity between the Trinity, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Where can we get the recording for when friends? It's going to be uploaded this week, but they will get the audio for us. And upload it. Okay, so we're seeing the unity between God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The communion between them, the way they are, the way they respond. And then if you go down to Genesis 1 20, he said, Let us. They don't do anything without themselves. They, they let us make man. So who was talking to who? God was talking to who? Was talking to himself, talking to the other part of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit, Jesus. Let's make man in our image. So we're talking, connecting to what I'm saying. Intimacy, you have to understand. The, you must understand. Look at the Trinity. The communion. Even right now, the Trinity is still modeling intimacy for us. How? In the name of Jesus. I know people are angry. You know, I used to think about it. Is God going to be angry now that we don't say the name of God? We want to pray. We say in the name of Jesus. Some of you, I don't know about you. Some of you, like, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Who are we talking to? Holy, all of you, just all of you together. We thank you, Lord. You see how they delegated authority. They are not. They are not in beating anybody. They are, nobody is dragging anything. With anybody, you know, God the Father is our Father. Jesus is the uh, access. The Holy Spirit, you know, just the blood. The Holy Spirit is the helper. Jesus is the access. He's the name that is above all names. You know, it's just beautiful to see. You cannot tell where God ends, Jesus starts, Holy Spirit begins. They are so in tune, guys. That is what God wants for us. That is what God wants for us. Where people cannot tell where you stop, where God starts. That is the beauty of this. Which one is to see how 
we become the car copy of God that we really have. Because when he made us in Genesis 1, it goes to 28, let's make man in our image and in our likeness. So for you to understand yourself, you, we need to explore what is the image of God and what is the likeness of God. So when we understand the image of God, the likeness of God, I can find me. The words of John C, when I find you, I find me. So one of the things we can know is that if you look at Psalms, you are wonderfully and fearfully made. You know, we've made jokes and say some people are fearfully made and wonder. That's wrong. Nobody's fearful. Like, so you mean if you look at them, yeah, fear catch you. No, 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 no. You're wonderfully made. You're fearfully made. You're beautifully made by God. The scanty frontline air, not due to bad habit of air, con- air, air management. I was that word down. Some of us, some things is as a result of our negligence and not taking care of our body and stuff. But looking at that, the way it is, that's your chin, that your chin bone, that you are beautifully and fearfully made. The, <laughs> I can that's my type. All of it, I have, I have my head. My, head. my head starting from the back. I'm one of those people, I have my head. So when you do up back, I can never have anybody to do straight up back like that. Because my up back, it will start, not, it will be starting well. Look. But you see, that this is my there's a corner of my head like this. I took my father's head. And I think I said that as I had to manage the all back. You know, when you people that have full front, like their hair is just front. Like you want to do all back. All the all back, they are aligned. They are straight line. No, no, my own. One straight. The one, they are straight. Then there's one that will start from the half of the, it will start small. Um, but we got this all beautiful. Beautifully and fearfully made. Beautifully and fearfully made. A portion of whatever, everything God has given to you, your body parts, beautifully and fearfully made. Beautifully and fearfully made. So that's the first place we're starting. To truly understand intimacy, we're going to explore the Trinity. We're going to look at how God gave his authority to Christ. Then Christ, the Bible says, he, made, he, 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 he saw it as robbery. I was added to the but he does see himself as equal to God. Like, I don't get it, guys. He made himself of no reputation. He do is God. I don't know if you are one of those people that this Trinity thing is to bust your head. Because I'm thinking he's God. He's the second Godhead in God. Do you understand? And then he's making himself not equal to God. Then he's making himself of no reputation. He doesn't want to say, ah, me, I respect the Father. Ah, ah. Or you are God. So you see this issue of honor. If you understand it, you yes, you have all the wealth and everything, but you can still honor people. Even the driver, you should speak to them with respect, the gate man, because you're learning from the Trinity. That you see, regardless of who we are, we honor. We honor, we celebrate. We honor, we celebrate. So, guys, what am I saying to us? So truly understand intimacy. We need to understand what is, what is the, what do we see in our father? And then to bring it home, to see how we are fearfully and beautifully made. The reason why there's so much hate right now is because people, we don't understand that we're beautifully and fearfully made. The reason why there's, I don't have a problem with people using filter, I don't. But I, I saw one day a popular celebrity, yes, we don't understand how deprived the world is getting. And we are, we are the light. So this guy, I don't know how many of you watch Flash. The guy, the main character guy, Flash, his wife. And the guy was mentioning how he's dealing with uh, depression and every anxiety. I'm like, hey, God. Some of us think is when we have money that depression will not. Depression is not a sickness of the elite. There's no richness that, that pushes away depression and anxiety. It's the joy of the Lord. is understanding who we are. And that's why the glory of God, I want to start actively getting set more things into, into this realm of, of mental health and everything because I've used the word a lot of times to counsel people and deal with the issue of the and I've seen results. So that I, I will go and study it as well so that I will be able to do it on a larger scale but mix it with my Bible. Anyways, the guy said something. The lady one day came on, posted a picture, had all the likes, she's a celebrity. Next day, she posted next stories back to back. 
She said, guys, I get a lot of people asking me, what's my skincare routine? Guys, there's no skincare routine. Let me show you. Then the next story, this is a filter. This is my real face, guys. The real face adds, you know, she's white. So you have all those, um, what's it called? Is it um, all those dot, dot things that is like brown on some white, a lot of white guys, their faces and stuff. I said, guys, it's my real face. And she said something, everybody use filter. So no picture is perfect. And I said, mm -mm. so I don't have a problem with us. We can do it for on but please let people see the real us so that they can find they can know that it's okay. Some people are already depressed that they cannot, they don't, yes, prickles. Thank you, guys. Some people are already feeling bad. That, oh my God, I'm not, my skin is not this smooth. They need to let them see that, ah, Baba Bagwe, I, I didn't wake up like this. I, ah. So people can begin to, some people are judging God unfaithful because of the way they are made. Some of you have like you are you're too curvy is a problem to you. Like, ah, God, oh, this curve is too much. Can we just thank God and ask the Lord, give me the grace to learn how to take of my body so that I can be properly fit for your glory. So, what is our message of intimacy today? One, two messages I've given to truly understand intimacy. We have to look at Genesis 1 and look at the and look at scriptures, the relationship of the Trinity. Guys, have we ever heard that come and settle fight to a Trinity? Holy Spirit is angry that as far as he is the helper, yeah, nobody prays to Holy Spirit. How many times do you call Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, child, Holy Spirit. We pray in the Spirit. You know, so we pray in, Jesus, in, in, in the Jesus. We pray in the Spirit. We pray in the Spirit. Come on, open your mouth, pray in the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. The baptism of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. And Jesus should be angry that I'm the one that died on the cross. This Holy Ghost that I said, I want to leave to just help you. I'm going. He's taking my shine. They don't fight for shine. See, this understanding of the intimacy of the Holy Ghost is going to help you even how we deal with ourselves. I can't be, I, I, I'm, I'm like, now I'm saying, oh, my case is just getting all the shine. No, no, no. See, it will change you. And this is blowing my mind. Guys, I, I didn't come here with this. The Lord is just sharing with me. It will change your mindset. Look at how the 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 Holy Spirit, the Trinity, are live. That's how we should live as believers. Not trying to outshine one another, but we instead shining because we know that together our light is a is a is a is a bomb. This was Jesus is not Jesus alone. He's he's potent and powerful because of God the Father and the Holy Spirit. Look at God, the almighty God, God himself, God. I was like, oh my God, Jesus. You don't celebrate Christmas Day to celebrate God Day. Most people are celebrating Christmas to think of Jesus, to sacrifice of Jesus. But who thought about the sacrifice? This is not God. Who created everything? This is not God. Yet, they are not in competition or anger. That is intimacy. Hi. Hey, it cures you of this competitive spirit it gives you value it, it redefines what value is it shows you who you are it shows you how valuable you are and we learn it from the trinity they don't do anything without consulting themselves he says look at this look at this let me give you this the bible says in the book of john jesus said i need to go i will send you the helper look at what the job of the helper he will remind you of all the things i've done so all this is a reminder he said, I will not tell you anything of his own. He's just going to remind you of everything I've told you. So the Holy Spirit literally is just, yes, uh, Jesus said it. Yes, yes, uh, that's what Jesus did. I like what Jesus has done. Teaching us the word. Letting us know Jesus more. Teaching us how to access the Father. He's the helper. In AKA, in modern day world, it will look like Holy Spirit is like Aaron Boyabi. Oh no, he is God as well. And he has never re strike. I've never gone on strike. See, Holy Spirit is on strike today because everybody's just abusing, taking for granted, and they're just giving all the accolades to Jesus and God. He can't, he can't deal. He can't do that because he's God as well. He's God as well, rather. So can we take a moment more the most more? And thank God for thank God for modeling to us how intimacy should look. Thank God for modeling to us the beauty of relationship with him. Thank God. Just thank God this morning. Just bless his name. In Jesus' name we pray.
before we go this morning, I want to say a big thing to everyone that's just been part of our journey. Because of your 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 gift, your giving, we're able to make this free, you know, support ministries, give to us my friends, and do all these things. God bless you. We will continue to strengthen you in Jesus' name. We'll continue tomorrow. We're going to be having Kika on the call one of this morning. We're going to be having a great time together. Now, this moment, I want us to do something. You're going to unmute your mic as we end this morning. I'm going to say, thank you, Jesus, for how you've made me. Can you open your mouth? And thank God for that thing that you think is a disadvantage. Oh, today's your birthday. Olani Yolua Shion, happy birthday to you. God bless you. Today's Jeeves' birthday. God bless you. God increase your no size in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can we say happy birthday to in the chat section? All right, guys, open your mouth and thank God for how he has made you. Are you ready? Your mic. Thank you, Jesus, for how you made you. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. This way, thank you for my daughter Stop it. The food that you are good. Is that a me? I just did this so stop it. Give God praise. Jesus. Thank God for your good taste of passion. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you guys. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday to you and everyone. God will give you a gift himself in Jesus' name. We love you. God bless you. See you guys. The next prayer for my 9 p.m. That's 12 p.m. 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m. We're studying the word. I catch the fire. We thank God for that. Amen. Love you guys. Have a blessed day.